que es el programa PACE, el PACE Program que fue creado hace unos años por la administración de Obama para ayudar a aquellas personas, a aquellos propietarios de hogar que quieren renovar, que quieren hacer upgrades en sus casas y volverlas más eficientes en el consumo de energía, cambiar el techo, cambiar las ventanas, paneles solares, instalarlos, en fin, cómo funciona. ¿Por qué no necesito crédito? ¿Por qué no necesito hacer pagos inmediatamente? ¿Cómo califico? Todo eso lo vamos a descubrir hoy. Vamos a hablar sobre el programa y vamos a traer a Andrés Méndez, que es el dueño, propietario, fundador de Nation Green Homes, una empresa que se dedica a trabajar con este programa y que ha ayudado a muchísimos eh, customers en, esto, en estos años para poder ya conseguir los fondos y eh, terminar a hacer, desarrollar los proyectos de principio a fin y volverlos una realidad. Bienvenidos al primer episodio de La Zona Home Owners, donde vamos a hablar sobre el PACE Program. La Zona Home Owners. Welcome guys to La Zona Home Owners. This is a space that we have created for homeowners. Uh, for people that want to learn a little bit more about the things, the incentives, the programs that are out there for them to make their homes better, to make their homes more efficient. Um, this is a space that we have created here at Nation uh, Green Homes uh, to raise awareness of what's happening and to, feed, and to let you know that we feel you as a homeowner. You know, we have people that are struggling to make things happen, but they don't understand, they don't know that there are things out there that can help them uh, achieve some of their dreams when it comes to having a better home, having a better place to live. So that's why we started this uh, podcast. Uh, we're going to bring a lot of people here, starting with Andres. I'm going to introduce you to Andres, but we're going to bring a lot of people here that are going to talk about different things that you can do at home, uh, how they work, and the programs, the programs that are um, based on initiatives that come from the from the government and that uh, people don't know about. So in today's episode, we're going to talk to Andres, Andres Mendez. He's the owner, the co-owner of uh, Nation Green Homes, and he's going to give us an overview of the situation of, you know, the things that they do, but to relate to people which at the end of the day is the purpose of what we do here. You know, we want to make people have, have hope and understand things that they don't know about. And so that's it. Um, Andres, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of, the, of this initiative that we are, are beginning today. And... Um, How did Nation begin? That's the first thing that we want to talk about today. How did you guys start this company? What happened? What was the story? Okay. Uh, Jack, thank you for having me. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here. Um, it is very important what, what we're doing today because we, as you said, we're going to create awareness and we're going to help those who don't know about the incentives and programs that can help them protect their home. Um, so basically we started Nation uh, because we as homeowners, uh, my wife and me, were struggling um, for several years with the fact that our house was not protected against uh, storms and hurricanes. In South Florida. In South Florida, absolutely, yeah. Uh, as you know, let's say the majority of the year, maybe eight months of the year, it's hurricane season in Florida. So yeah. we're always uh, running around and we're always uh, trying to figure it out how to protect our homes um, and, and how to be more effective doing it. Yeah. Well, one of the things that we were discussing before we started the program is that a lot of people... Um, when a storm happens here in South Florida, they have to run away from home. Yes. They have to, you know, get away, basically. They have to flee because their homes are not protected. And actually, a lot of the people that stays are the people that... Are not protected. Are not protected. Yes. 
That's so that's but anyways, just keep going with uh, the story. Well, of I, I'm I'm gonna tell you regarding that, uh, I can I can testify myself that if you feel like your house is not protected completely, it's probably likely that you will stay in it in it. Um, does it make sense? No, of course of course it doesn't. Is it dangerous? Very dangerous. But we we have a tendency to protect our asses yeah. and and protect them with our own lives, which doesn't make sense. You know, uh, like two three years ago, actually, uh, there was a hurry, a big one that came through, uh, the keys. Right. I don't know if you remember the name. I don't remember it. the name. So many since but since nineteen ninety. I remember because I have a friend that after that they reported and say that nothing happened. That you know, families were they didn't have any problems with it, but it wasn't true. A lot of people died during that hurricane, but they don't report that. They, they don't report because it was a little, a little bit of um, they they didn't want to bring attention to the government, so they want to cover it. But I remember reading that a lot of people. I mean, hearing from this friend because he went there. He was doing a uh, developing project over there after the hurricane. He went, He was he was going to assess. A situation and he told me a lot of people a lot of families died uh, most likely because they they had homes that they didn't have protection. the capacity to protect themselves from from the hurricane they say at home like you just said they stay there because they think that if they stay they're going to protect their homes and actually they just if the home is not protected they're not going to be able to do it so anyways keep back go back to the story so uh, I was struggling a lot with the fact that every time they announce a hurricane, uh, I had to run to the the Home Depot specifically uh, to buy wood, to buy supplies, to get batteries, to to buy lamps, to 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 prepare for the for the storm, and and this is one of the the, the reasons. I I create we created this company because we found a program that helped us uh, protect our home with no money down with flexible payments um, and and we no credit required. Um, what is I, this program? Okay, I I I saw this um, ad in uh, online and then I heard it over the radio. It's called Pace property assess clean energy and then basically this program which then honestly jack i thought it was too good to be truth I, I really thought it was a scam to be honest the first impression that caused me was like yeah, this this cannot be truth you know how come but how why, come? why? Be, because because it sounded again it sounded i don't, I don't want to repeat myself but it did sound too good to be truth because there's no down payment because you don't require credit because the contractor doesn't get paid until you you finish the job and then you get 12 to 18 months to pay so i was very skeptical about it i did find out that uh, everything that was stated in this commercial or, or or these ads that i saw online was truth um the program helped us drastically tremendously we had just come from a, a really bad uh situation this is like uh, due to the, the pandemic, COVID, right? exactly, yeah, the the, the, exactly. We just had uh, uh, gone through the pandemic, uh, you know, the situation we all live around the world. And it, it was something great. It was something that uh, gave me a lot of peace of mind. And I can tell you that nowadays, uh, the feeling when I hear, which is very common and, and, and very often when I hear a storm is coming, it's, it's, it's way different. Uh, I don't need to go run to the store and put wood and open holes on my wall and uh, have to hire someone if, I, if I'm not home. I mean... Yeah, because that happens a lot too. You know, like when you get it, when some... Every time that a storm comes, uh, we here in Miami, we're here located in Miami. So when there's a storm coming in, in Miami, we get this, this becomes like, uh, like the apocalypse. True, and uh, we have to run to Home Depot to get plywood to put it in your windows. You have to do so many things, and and the water supply goes away. Like it's it is, it is crazy. So, you were saying that you guys were not protected. That's just you know you guys were not protected. Then you heard about this program. You thought it was a scam. I because really did. It is too good to be true, 
and then you apply it. You got it. You did it at your home. You re you uh, work on your home. You replace your windows. You replace your roof, and then you say, you know what? People don't know about this thing. Yes, this that was that was my first motivation to do it, because uh, there is a lot. There are a lot of per people. There is a lot of people that don't know about these incentives. That don't know about these programs. That don't know that. They can actually protect their home and have flexibility. But to why? Pay. Why, Andres? Because this program is not based on credit um, or payment histories. Uh, this program is based on uh, an equity, and we are very lucky to be in South Florida because I would say uh, every property that you purchase uh, will have equity right away because of where we located and what's the situation that's happening in Miami. But do you think so, there is like a, an intention for from some groups, I don't know, I'm just guessing, that don't want people to know about this program? Like, what do you think? What do you, why isn't it something that everybody knows, so at least homeowners? I, I think it's basically lack of information. I, I don't see how anyone will not want you to uh, protect your home because what 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 they're doing here is they're they're giving you the the flexibility to get it done and and the incentives to to help you um put your project together and protect your home so it's basically lack of information and and this is not only and I'm going to be honest with you this is not only helping the homeowner this is helping the economy itself because every time uh, a project is is done. It's uh, it's more more work for the for the person that produces the windows, and more more work for the person that installs yeah. the windows, and for more work for everyone. So I believe this is not only helping the the homeowner, but helping the economy itself, and helping the government. Because uh, remember, if 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 a disaster comes, if something bad happens to to a certain area. Uh, the government is the one that has to subsidize these these uh, yeah. issues, and the money is the one that has to come up out of through pocket FEMA. with this through FEMA. Yeah. So uh, I believe that the, the whole idea is genius. I believe the whole concept is amazing, and it's it's just a matter of understanding it and and knowing how to use it so wisely so you can take advantage of it. Now this program was created by the. Um, by the government, right? Yeah, it was actually created by the Obama administration. By the and they did it because they wanted to figure it out a way that people could get an energy efficient home because we're facing, and this is true, we're facing global warming. This is a reality. So the United States as a country say, okay, what can we do to to do with this to fix this in a certain way that is massive. So they came with this program, right? That's, that's what I'm, I'm aware the, of. The, the, the whole idea is, again, to help not only the homeowner, but to help the, the, the world, to help the, the environment, and, and to help the government itself, to, yeah. to, help, to help the country. Uh, because by the, the more you protect it, the, the least uh, catastrophes will, will face. No, let's be honest. People... They're not thinking about. I mean, it's it's hard to find somebody, and it's, we're not trying to be uh, negative. We're trying to be realistic, but people don't care that much about the planet. Let's say we're not to that level yet, but we are starting to change s switchers. You know that mentality now. You see a lot of electric cars uh, going around with Tesla. Uh, Solar panels are, are starting to gain track as well. Uh, so this type of initiatives actually help raise that awareness. So those who are still you know, evaluating if it makes sense, which makes total sense when you start to research the damage that we're doing to our planet that is real. When you really sit down and analyze what's happening, you will see that it's real. But um, by having this type of approach, People that don't know or don't understand or they don't care that much, at least they say, you know what, this makes sense, and they can do something about it, because that's that's what, it. Starts at home. 
right? Yes. How absolutely. how can you start uh, a, a a huge? How can you have a huge impact at home? Starting at home. Yes. So um, so then you guys, you were saying that then you started the company. So how how was the whole journey? It was as as any new business. It was um, a lot of work and and a lot of uh, a lot to learn at the beginning, like every business uh, or like every beginning of a new venture. So I I think that what what really drove my or 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 intention and and what really made us. Uh, make it happen was the fact that we we wanted uh, people to know we wanted everyone out there to know that that you can protect your home that you can protect your life that you can protect your 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 most valuable asset which is which is your house and 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 we know how much effort it takes and you know and, and we're all immigrants uh, the majority of 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 the population here in, in southeast florida are immigrants like ourselves, and and it takes a lot of work, a lot of effort, and and, and a lot of organization to acquire a property. So, uh, I believe the one of the most important things that or the most valuable things I found about this program was the fact that I felt personally I was going to protect my family and my assets. When uh, you say you can, and I, this is a great thing that you said that. Because let's say if you have the resources, right, uh, to do a renovation or to upgrade your windows, your home, I mean, to your roof or put a solar panel. But we know that not a lot of people have the resources to do it, right? So, and they don't have the credit. They don't have, they have limitations. At Excellent. least they think that they have limitations. And then you guys show up and say, hey, you can Absolutely. You know, that's that's a different story. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Um, again, it's it's an amazing idea uh, that was developed by the Obama administration. And I think the the impact that this is creating and that they will create, it's it's insane. It's amazing. It's huge. Um, we don't understand it yet. And, and only the people or, or the homeowners that have gone through a, a storm or that had, have gone through floating or through natural disasters will understand how important and how strong it is to be able to, to protect, again, your family, your home, and your assets. What about those? Because um, we have a lot of people here as well that they have their family, not their, not their close family or their the core family, meaning wife, kids, but they also have parents, you know, that they live here, they don't live in the same place, um, but they want to, they, you know, a hurricane comes in and then they're calling their parents, they're like, listen, we have to go pick you up and we have to go because a storm is coming and your house doesn't have anything. So in that case, it's, you guys are also uh, talking to these people i guess i assume and showing them this initiative to the the say older population of seniors as well as their kids that are not as you know they're in their late 30s or early 40s but you're talking you're you showing them that this is possible so they can help as well their their parents right correct yeah of course you can protect your family uh, you can protect your parents. You can protect your friends. Uh, if you bring this message out there and, and you tell the whole area or the whole Southeast population how easy it is to to protect yourself, uh, I, I, will, I would think that if, if we all do it, if we all synchronize uh, to help each other, it'll cause a, a huge impact in, in our future because uh, we're going to minimize catastrophes, I think. Now, Andres, one thing. Uh, when we think about building a project, right? When we think about building a project, think about the people that are behind the project. So in this case, the, how do you call these guys? 
the the um, se uh, the advisors. The, no, 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 not the no you guys, no you. The, I'm talking about the one that goes and does the project. The contractors. The contractors. So we're talking about contractors, uh, and when we think about one of these projects, we think about contractors. When we think about contractors, and this is kind of a an urban myth, or it's not a myth, it's kind of a reality. You think about problems, you think about delays, you think about, you know, a phone that is not answered. You know, I can't, I don't even can think about the different situation that can happen, but in your, there's a, like a negative connotation when it comes to contractors. So how does that work uh, with you? It is is different because at the end of the day you have you you have a contractor. So, yes. what is the difference in in what normally what people think of? How can you get them away from that thought and say, "Hey, this is different. How is it different?" Okay, what we actually do, uh, Jax, is not only helping the the, the final customer uh, with the financing only but uh, we basically manage the whole their whole project mm -hmm. uh, we we choose the contractor that needs to be approved uh, by the program we oh, that's something cool can you can you explain that elaborate. a little bit more yeah uh, only so not everybody not everybody qualifies to correct as a contractor as a contractor there is a background check there is um, um, they, they actually check your finances. Uh, you cannot have any issues with the law. You no. cannot have any sues. Um, the, the, what, the, what the program is trying to make sure is that we can only use contractors that have good reputation. Mm. Uh, That's and, great. And, and one of the things that I like the most about this project is that uh, they don't actually get paid until the project is completed and the customer is 100% satisfied. So they don't get paid? They do not. Until? Everything is completed. So not every contractor is going gonna, is gonna to like that Absolutely. unless they are professionals. Exactly. I, I see, as, as a con, as, I'm not a contractor, but I have been dealing with a lot of them. And, and I, one thing I can tell you is that if you agree to be part of this program, it's because you know the quality uh, of, of, of the work, of the job you're doing, you know, the quality materials that actually need to be approved by the program and have... So not every material, so you cannot buy like a, something from Home Depot. Home Depot. No, yes. you can't. You cannot, you cannot. Materials need to be approved by the program. Uh, they need to be approved by the county as well. Uh -huh. And I think they're always thinking about protecting the, the customer. And again, this is one of the... I believe, at least this is how I felt. You know, when when I found out that uh, the, my contractor, the person that that was gonna do my my windows, uh, wasn't gonna get paid until I said, yeah. "Yeah, you can pay them." I I really thought again. I'm saying, "Oh, come on, this this is not true. <laughs> that there's a hook. Or what's going on? You know, where where is what's gonna yeah. happen?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that's what what I felt, and I and I think that it's very important. Because that guarantees your your job is gonna be done and 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 your contractor is not gonna disappear. That's uh, peace which of happens mind. a lot. It's peace, peace of, of mind. mind. Peace of so mind. So that cuts the program. Actually, the program is is structured in a way that contractors are they have to be good. They have to be great based on what you're saying, and uh, that guarantees the delivery of the work. They're not gonna disappear, like you said, and the quality as well. Yep. It's like it's like going it's like going to the grocery, uh, getting the food, eating it, and paying for it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I see that it. That is a great analogy. So then you guys started, and you, I can imagine uh, all the struggles that you went through, as you know, you're coming out of pandemic, or you started actually in the middle of the pandemic, and then um, the struggle, you know, the hurdles that you have to pass, everything that goes when you start a new business, no clients or no customers, no people, you know, uh, wanted to, to work with you. Then you start finally getting some traction, getting some people there, doing some projects. So it's nice if you can share, you know, um, because like I said at the beginning, every, everything is about the people that you can make an impact. You know, the, the people that you can influence in a positive way 
so they can live a little uh, a better life when you do things like that or when you have that in mind then you know you wake up feeling motivated to do your job and to uh, get things moving uh, so that being said i would like to know how was that first you know experience when you finally did something and you had that person like hey you know because it's more than windows it's more than you guys are not selling windows you're not selling roofs you're not selling a solar panel you're selling the protection you're selling you know the possibilities that were not there before they they met you before they met you they, they didn't know about this then they met you they realized oh there's an opportunity that they didn't know that i had and maybe i don't have the resources to do it if i this program wasn't there you know so what was that you know what was that feeling you know change, change somebody's life in a better way uh again my the, the i mean my the, the biggest satisfaction personally to me was the fact that i was able to help uh a lot of immigrants and, and a lot of customers like me um that that are here uh, working hard, uh, finding a, a better life, looking for opportunities. Uh, we're not only helping these these customers or, 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 or these homeowners, but uh, we were also we were also able to create 16 new jobs wow. um, to move the economy. And, and and I think it's very important because uh, by doing this, we created opportunity for. Everyone, starting from the person that produces the windows, till the person that that installs them, and, and 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 the person that that calls. I mean, there there's a a lot of human yeah. resources involved in this equation. So that is a a great satisfaction. You know, you're able to 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 help uh, not only one person but uh, the whole community. Now, um, but. Let's go back to that because I, I, I would like to to get from you at least, you know, one person that you remember. You know, you when you deal with customers, you you always have that like breakthrough experience that you met somebody, you did everything, and then you never forget them. You know what I mean? Like, like who is that person or who is that family for you and why? Okay, there is actually someone I always remember because he was one of my first customers. Her, her name is uh, Reina, mm -hmm. which translates to queen, the queen. <laughs> in English. Yeah, very common name. Yes, she's uh, an elderly lady uh, from Cuba. Uh, unfortunately, her husband passed away. Her children, her daughters and, and son live uh, on another state. So it, it was really touching when I, when I met her because th there was something... Uh, very strong that that drove me to to really help her, and it was the fact that she had no one to help her, she had no one to 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 make a decision with, uh, and and she was totally unprotected, and I remember specifically that her insurance was tripled because of the fact that she was not protected, so uh, this particular person was a very 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 nice elderly woman and it was uh, very satisfying to to be able to help her because uh, I can say that she's protected nowadays uh, she renew her uh, impact windows she changed her roof she even did uh, her a new air conditioning and and she was able to do it through the program and she was able to do it because of the fact that we, when we help someone, we help them from permits to final installation through the whole process. They don't really need to get involved. Uh, we take the whole project or, or ourselves and we make sure everything is executed and, and done correctly. So this is someone that I always remember. She actually calls me and I do too. Uh, once <laughs> once a while so you have to Raina, say hello. you have rain in your phone and you guys are always like uh, actually How's actually it going? no you know what i'm going to tell you a, a, another story a, a, a around this woman this is an area and a specific area that i visit a lot mm -hmm. in miami and many times that uh when i'm around that area 
She invites me to coffee. Tú, ¿no? yeah. Cafecito. Un cafecito she told me, she told me, cubano. She told me. Uh, exactly. Un cafecito. Cuban coffee. How do you say call Cafe, the small one? Cafecito cubano. No, but the small coladita, one. coladita. Una coladita. Una coladita. Una coladita. Una coladita. So, so she, she told me, okay, you got to promise me that every time you're around the area, you're going to pass by and get so your you coffee. Get, you, and got, I do. you did the whole project and then you get a free coladita forever. At least 20 coladitas <laughs> so far. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. That's so good. So, um, if you're listening, Reina, please have your coffee ready for me because I'm going to be there tomorrow. <laughs> La coladita. I don't drink coladita, but I'll, I'll get one for you since uh, Andres already said the story. One of the things that I know that are happening all the time is that that are initiatives, right? And one of the things that we want to have here in that we're going to discuss all the time in, in, in the show, in the podcast, is about things like this, you know, initiatives that are out there. Can you please tell us a little bit about the one that is coming up in for people that want to get ready for hurricanes? Because hurricane season starts now. Yes. It's actually going to start in June, June 1st. June through All November. All the way through November, right? So yes. it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of time and we have to get ready. It happens all the time. But we have to get ready for the things that we don't want to happen. So it's better to be ready if that be sorry if they happen and we're not ready. So that's why there is one initiative out there running for uh tax exemptions, right? Exempt that, that is uh, correct. How, how is that How does that work? As a matter of fact, starting uh, Saturday, May 28th through Friday, June 10th, you can uh, purchase uh, hurricane preparedness supplies without tax. Like what? So there's no tax for lamps. There's no tax for generators. There's no tax for batteries, very likely. Uh, anything that will help you protect your home or, or, or prepare for the hurricane season will be tax exempt. So uh, I think we should also bring this message out there and, and let people know, you know, to take advantage of it because this is the time and it, it's better to have it and, and not need it than need it and not, and not have it. So one advice that I can give to everyone out there is, you know, get prepared. Uh, it, it is gonna be easier and it's going to cause less impact, negative impact to, to your home and to your to yourself if you're prepared. So get prepared. This is the time. Thank Don't you wait. So much. Thank you so much, Andres, for being here again. Uh, this is La Zona by Nation Green Homes. We, sh surely you'll come back and we're going to have a lot of conversations. But we wanted to introduce, this is our first episode, so we're like brand new. We're starting to to develop this um, this uh, podcast. And we want to thank you for having us. We'll continue to bring people, we'll continue to talk about, you know, things related to homeowners here in South Florida. So, Andres, thank you so much. And thank you for being part of La Zona Homeowners. Thank you, Jax. And please prepare. Uh, don't let the hurricane cut you with your hands down. La Zona Homeowners. <laughs> <laughs>